everyone. So today I'm going to be finally sharing with you my skincare routine for the morning time. I think this is going to be like a two-part video and I'm going to show you my nighttime skincare routine in like the next video or the video after next. So um, right now I'm outside if you hear like birds or anything. It's a really nice day and I wanted to film the intro to this video outside. So I'm just sitting here with my worm and we are sitting outside filming this. So I hope you enjoy. Um, I am using some of my new skincare products that I have been using, the Origins and um, the Witch Hazel. Um, but I still love Cetaphil, or Cetaphil, Cetaphil, however you say it. Um, and I still use that, so I do show that also. But in this video, I'm going to be using the Origins Cleanser because that is my absolute new favorite cleanser. It is so amazing, and I do think I'm going to repurchase the full size. So um, I just wanted to share this with you guys. So let's just go ahead and jump right into the skincare routine. Good morning, everyone. So as you can see, I don't have perfect skin at all. First, I'm going to be pulling my hair back so it doesn't get wet when I wash my face. I am going to run a clean washcloth under hot water so that I can dampen my face and open my pores. I like to scrub my face a little bit with the washcloth to just kind of wake my skin up. Today I'm going to be using my Origins Checks and Balance Cleanser, but I still love my Cetaphil Cleanser. With damp hands, I'm going to place a pea-sized amount of the cleanser on my fingers, and today I'm just going to be using my fingers to wash my face, but I also do love my Clarisonic Mia. So I just work the cleanser around my face and um, before I rub my fingers together and just kind of get it foaming. And I apply it all over my face and I just like to scrub it in and if I have any problem areas, I like to scrub them a little extra hard. When I am done cleansing, I'm going to take the same damp, wet washcloth and I'm going to wipe all of the cleanser off of my face. If you'd like, you can use cold water because that will help to close your pores for the day. Then I just like to pat my face dry with a towel just to kind of soak up any of the extra moisture on my face. Now to soak up any leftover oil on my face, I use the Witch Hazel by Dr. Dickinson's. And this is just helps to cleanse my face and kind of make it feel cool and extra clean and balance the pH in my skin. I like to rub this all over my face, but if you have dry skin, you can avoid any extra dry areas and just focus on the more oily part of your skin, such as your T-zone or your chin or nose. So you can see that it got off a little extra oil. Today for moisturizer, I'm going to be using the Origins Vitazine with SPF 15. This is my current favorite moisturizer. It has a little bit of a tint, but nothing too extreme. And I feel like it helps to give me just a little bit more coverage without being too heavy or cakey. I love the way this smells and the way it feels on my skin. It's just the perfect moisturizer, and I think I'm going to really love it for summer. For my eyes, I'm going to be using the Origins Ginseng Eye Cream for like the daytime. It's just a brightening eye cream. And I really like this. A little bit goes a long way. Um, it is a, like a slightly pink shimmery um, color to the eye cream. And I just think it helps make you look wide awake. And so I use it during the daytime instead of nighttime. For my lips, I'm just going to be using the Maybelline Baby Lips Lip Balm. And this is just the clear one. I believe it is the peppermint scent. And I like this because it doesn't have any color and it has also has SPF. Okay, so that is all for my skincare routine. I hope you enjoyed. Like I said, if you have any questions, please feel free to let me know. I will try to link all the products that I used down below. So be sure to subscribe for more videos that are coming up. And don't forget to check out my blog because I post tons of stuff on my blog. Um, well, not tons, but I'm starting to post more on my blog. And I don't always... There's an airplane. I don't always post um, videos on everything that happens or anything like that so check out my blog and subscribe to that so that you can catch everything that doesn't make it to this channel um so that's kind of fun and don't forget to subscribe to my or follow me on twitter and instagram for some fun pictures because i just i am so obsessed with instagram so i post pictures on that all the time and i'm starting to tweet a little bit more so i'm getting better at that so thank you all for watching and i hope you're having a great weekend so i will talk to you later bye guys